is the bird. Welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. In the last episode, we made our way to the Diamond Island under the ocean. We climbed Ice Velmental Mountain and took on the Ice Velmental. Now with her ability, um, we should be able to go to the other temples here and get more orbs so we can take out the purple streamer. There's a lot going on. I just saved before, so I do want to see what Olivia has to say. Hmm, we can't just walk up to the temple. What do we have to do to make the entrance accessible? So we already got this first one done. That was the power challenge. Um, I didn't really know if that was relevant to getting everything else done, or I would have saved it for later. Um, either way, we can definitely do this one now. All we gotta do is freeze the ice, or freeze the water into ice. And I, I'm guessing we'll be able to walk across at that point. So let's go ahead and give that a try, right here. And let's hope for the best. Okay, so we actually haven't seen this transformation too much. I don't mind seeing it again here. But yeah, it's, it's just so cool that we, as far as I can tell, have all of the developmental abilities. So how close are we to beating the game? I think there's still one more streamer after this, right? So who knows? Um, but either way, as you can see, well, actually maybe there isn't one more streamer. This is the last one. Oh boy. So Olivia's gonna freeze that up. Maybe a little too much. Boom, there you go, nice job. Very good, problem solved. So let's get into there and see what's going on. Ooh, hello. This is the trial of wisdom. Overcome its three challenges to earn a sacred orb. So last time it was the challenge of power, now it's the challenge of wisdom, which I can only imagine means some kind of puzzle to solve. Oh, is it ski ball? <laughs> What do these symbols mean? Yes and no? Good and bad? Oh wait, I know what it is. It's a game of true or false. The, there, we solved the trial. Easy peasy. Let the trial of wisdom begin. You may answer each question with either a check or an X. Make your choice with, within the time provided. The first question. The name of Captain Teod's submarine is the Princess, is the Princess Peach. No, it's not. Are you absolutely certain? Because that's what the ship was called. Whoop! Whoa, we just slammed through. Hey, it looks like we made the right choice. Correct, Captain Teod's submarine is named the Marino. Well done, you may proceed to the next stage. Cool, very high stakes, but I like it so far. The second question. If you pass the sixth, fifth, and fourth place runners in a marathon, you'll finish in third place. I mean, maybe? This feels like it's more of a trick question because you can pass the sixth, fifth, and fourth players, but then you have failed this trial. Return to the entrance and call upon your wisdom and try again. Yeah, that's sort of a weird trick question because like, you can pass the fir person in first place. But then you can trip at the end and still lose, you know? So I guess maybe that's why I should have said no. <laughs> I just didn't know what kind of answer I was looking for, but now we can just try again. The number of streamers that you've cleared so far is three. <laughs> I was just questioning this before. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to put the game down for a few weeks. But I was right, okay, so this is the fourth streamer coming up, cool. Correct, thus far you have cleared the red, blue, and yellow streamers for a total of three. Well done, you may proceed to the next stage. So it looks like it just gave me a different question this time. It didn't give me the uh, Captain Teod or the Marathon question. So let's see what we get this time. The second question. 12 passengers are riding a bus. If five of them get off at their stop, seven people will remain on the bus. Nope, because there's the driver. Are you absolutely certain? Yes. See, now that's a trick question. Correct, there must be a driver on the bus as well. So eight people will remain, not seven. Well done, you may proceed to the next stage. But it's like one of those things where it's like, context matters. What if it's a self-driving bus? <laughs> That's happening in today's world, you know? It's like it could happen. Or maybe he was already on a lunch break, so it was on the bus anyways, I don't know. The third question. Speak with all three figures, then choose the one who is lying. Okay, well this is just based on intuition, right? I am not the liar. Well, he seems in the clear. The liar is A. 
the liars be. Hmm. So, A is saying that he is not, okay, so this is sort of like a string, right? I am not the liar. If he was lying, that would also mean that, well, no. He's saying he's not the liar. So if he was lying and he wasn't, he was the liar, that would mean that B is correct, the liar is A, but that would also mean that C is incorrect, the liar is B, because he wouldn't be lying. He'd be right, A is a liar. So it can't possibly be two at once. So it has to be B then, right? The liar is A. No, the liar is telling, or A is telling the truth, so the liar can't be A, which would also make C correct, the liar is B. So I think it's B. Are you absolutely certain? Yes, because if C was lying, that would mean that A is a liar. Yeah, we got it! It's just like this weird logic puzzle. I like it, it it's interesting. You conquered the trial of wisdom. This victory shall now be celebrated. Hooray! We got more Barakas. I'm glad we saw them. Those were fun. Yeah, good job. Celebration concluded. Proceed to the next room and claim your orb. So we got ourselves the Orb of Wisdom coming up now. And then after this, we have the Temple of Courage to tackle, so it just keeps going, right? All right. Ta-da, the Wisdom Orb. A blue orb proving you've passed the trial of wisdom. Hooray, you're the wisest of the wise, Mario. I suppose so. So let's head down. And I guess we can head out of here. Can we talk to this thing anymore? Yeah, we can. Well done, Traveler. Doesn't say much, but we can talk to him. Okay, so for this last one, I think I already have it set up enough that all I need to do is freeze it as well. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's already set up for that, so we're good. Just go over there, choose the um, freeze power. Which elemental power should we use? Ice. And I'm just going to go ahead and skip this one since we just saw, saw it. I don't think there's too much of a reason to uh, see that whole thing again. Yeah, a lot of fun that we're getting this done. Boom. Okay, the final trial is open. It's the trial of courage. If I if I had to guess, there would be one we'd have to battle something. It'd be this one. This is the trial of courage. Overcome its three challenges to earn a sacred orb. Sure. Begin the trial of courage. Yes. Whoa. Are we climbing a rope? Okay, Temple, bring it on. Show us what you got. We're not scared, we're not... Huh? What gives? I thought we'd need to show this Temple how courageous we are. But this is just a lousy rope. Let the trial of courage begin. You may approach. The rope connects to an unseen object. This object will soon fall from above. Press A to grab the rope. Once you release it, an unseen object will begin a rapid descent. You must halt this falling object by pressing A once more, but only after it drops below the arrow. If you halt the object above the arrow, your lack of courage shall be revealed. I thought this is more of a uh, challenge of reaction time more than it is courage. Oh, hey, I got it. Not bad. Ta-da, we got it. Well done, you may proceed to the next stage. Oh, we're not quite done though. Guess we'll have three phases of things like this. Fascinating, okay, so it's gonna be the same thing three times in a row. You have entered the second stage of the trial of courage. You may approach once more. So I'm guessing it's the same exact thing, but the arrow's lower. And indeed it is. Summon your courage, press A to grab the rope, then release it and prepare the hot the falling object. Mario looks so intense, I love it. 
Nice. Got some extra space in there too. So far so good, getting it done on the first try, but let's see the third one. Well done, you may proceed to the next stage. All right. So once more, this is the final stage of the Trial of Courage. Approach if you dare. How low will it go? It actually looks just as low as last time. Summon your courage and press A to grab the rope, then release it and prepare to halt the falling object. Okay, oh, the rope's much longer. Okay, for this one, it's more the, it's gonna get intense because we just gotta wait and wait and wait. Oh, it's falling faster. That was close. <laughs> I was not expecting a thwomp. Oh my goodness. You conquered the trial of courage. This victory should now be celebrated. What a dangerous trial that was. That was definitely the most dangerous one. Well, good job, Mario. You've completed all of the trials. You are both courageous, brave, or not brave, strong and wise. Celebration concluded. Proceed to the next room and claim your orb. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so with these orbs, we can go to the one island that has the uh, the tower, where we're hopefully are going to be able to get the streamer. I don't know if there'll be a fight there. You can only assume, but you never know. Courage orb, a green orb proving you've passed the trial of courage. Hooray, you're the most courageous hero I know, Mario. So with all three orbs obtained, let's get out of here. <laughs> you know, I've had fun, but I don't think there's really too much more we can do. Maybe the Stouches will talk to us more? Are they proud of us? Yeah, they're gonna talk. Well done, you have conquered the three trials of power, wisdom, and courage. Congratulations, traveler. Oh, that was that. You cleared all three trials, great work, Mario. I've been wondering, what do these three orb thingies even do? We've got all three orbs. I guess we should head back to that great to the great scene, figure out where we where to go next. So yep, that's exactly what we'll do. And I'm pretty certain all we gotta do is go to that one tower and put the orbs there. There was already three slots for them, so it should be not too bad to figure out. If you wish to return to the surface of the great sea, just say the word. Here we go. Back into the marina. So we entered this pretty scared, not knowing what we're gonna run into, but we leave with quite a lot. Ice Elemental Ability, three orbs, and a general direction of what we're supposed to do next. So let's head over. I think we gotta go all the way to the top left, basically, so let's get over there. And I'm sure there's still more of the Great Sea to explore, which I know we'll explore everything through again and get everything at some point or another, but for right now, my main focus, actually, now I have the chance, maybe I should go to the Skull Island and make sure there's nothing more I have to buy there, because I was pretty sure there was something, but I can't remember if I bought it already, so let me go and check that out real quick. Okay, so you're the one with the accessories right over here. Just wanna to talk to you real fast. A new shipment of accessories is on the way. Come back soon. Okay, so I do have what he had to offer. I could not remember for the life of me if we had done that or not. So now that I know, we're gonna head to the other side of the map and figure things out there. Well, I was almost at the tower, but then we got caught by these little shy guys, which honestly, I don't know if we fought them yet. So might as well give it a try. Looks like it's pretty simple to line them up. They got these little propellers on their head, which is actually quite cute, but just need to line that up like that, line this up like that, and we're good to go. So Cheap Cheap should be easy to take down. Let's try the flashy boots on fly, guys. I got it. Will this hurt, though? No, it won't, okay. I was a little worried that that would be dangerous for Mario's feet, but we're fine. Okay, so, just gonna use shiny boots against the Cheap Cheaps. That's all I really need to do here, so put that to use and it's being used pretty well. Okay, battle bonus we get. Uh, not a ton of coins, but it was perfect, so, you know, as much as we could possibly get in that situation, which is nice. So let's go to the tower again. Just get this out of the way. All right. So just like last time, we just gotta walk up, but this time we have orbs to place in there, so that'll be awesome. Check. Hmm, what do you think these openings are for? Well, the blue one will go in the blue slot, the red one in the red slot, and the green one in the green. Ta-da! And with our three orbs of power, wisdom, and courage, we can enter the tower. 
Oh, it's a door. That seems pretty obvious in hindsight. Let's head inside. I can't wait to get to the top, assuming it doesn't just go on forever. Oh boy. Is that supposed to be like foreboding? Oh my gosh. It's a meeting of the four of elementals. Earth, water, fire, and ice. Hello, so nice to see you all again. Oh, they're just statues. I need that. Hmm. And is there some kind of associated puzzle with this? Keep following that purple streamer all the way up. Oh yeah, I can just keep going. All right then, will do. Whoa. So here we are, the tower. What is this place called? I was waiting for it to pop up, but I never really sure. The sea tower. And there's no toads to rescue here. I do think that I want to, moving platforms, no fair. Are there any platforms that won't let us down? I wanted to change our accessories up a little bit, if possible. Instead of this one, I want to find the question box. I feel like I struggle with those a little bit more often on average. Okay, I sort of want all these to revert. Okay, the uh, the pattern here is a little weird. But there we go. We seem to be getting it. Ooh, watch it. Oh no, ah! Okay, maybe we aren't getting it. <laughs> there we go. That's gonna slam out. That's gonna go backwards out. And then I gotta go here. Then it'll slam back forward. Sometimes you gotta go backwards to go forward. It's on the left side though, very tricky. Okay, let it do its thing again. Ready. Got it. Go. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Ah, darn. Not easy so far. <laughs> no, come on, Mario. What, what was that about, huh? So silly. Okay, let it all retract then. It's gonna do its thing for a little bit longer. Cause then I go to the right, and then it retracts a little bit like that. Then I go back over. But then I have to move. Why is it not letting me, okay, that was weird, that was weird. Duh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah, that is so awkward! Okay, come on, come on, come on, there we go! That was really, really tough. <laughs> but I got here, I'm not doing well in health. Oh no, what happened to the Earth Elemental's face? Yeah, that's not good. It's split into two for some reason. That must have hurt. And the water element only has one eye, or maybe it was winking down at us. It's also mysterious. Huh, well first things first, the poor earth elemental is split in half, the one water elemental next to it looks really sad. I want to use some health restoration here. Even just normal mushrooms would be good. That's gonna give me 50 health. Just do that a couple more times if you don't mind. I have a lot of these normal mushrooms, so I might as well. There we go, that should be good enough for now. Only 10 health below what I need. Boom, got you, we can fill some of this stuff up as well. Got some Koopas over there too. There's some easy enemies running around. Hmm. Whoa, what is that? Some kind of red orb. Interesting. Get a POW block, I love having that. What about this Koopa, ready? Yeah, gotcha, exactly what I wanted. There's a little bit more. Thank you for the coins, because we have a lot, quite a lot of coins now, it's great. And there is a shiny tail. See, there's the blue orb. So I guess we put the red orb in that guy's mouth. Do I have enough confetti for this? I do, awesome. Still a little bit here to find out, but we're just gonna go into this little dome to the left. See if I can't get that red orb back. Hey buddy, you get back here. Hmm. We filled that up for now. Just about out of confetti. It sort of stuck up there because of the origami's king, or, origami king sticker up there. Oh, got him. Yeah, I really don't wanna have to fight these guys if I don't have to. I feel like I've been getting really beat up recently in this game. Is that enough? Yes. All right. And that made it raise up a little bit. Well, I'd certainly need more confetti soon. And what about these ones? Oh, so I can just smack them and make them come out all by itself. And that's how we travel across here, maybe? Uh, uh, not what I wanted. That's okay, we're fine. See, we made it work. 
That guy's a little bit of extra confetti. Boom, extra coins as well. Let's rip this thing off. All right, a little sidestepper, I'm gonna get you. How do you get back here? <laughs> He's so fast. Whoa. Can I go inside of that? I can't, but. Ah! Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do at all. But they're all knocked over. Oh, I see. So that one actually has like its mouth out there. So now, if I'm fast about it, if I'm fast about it. Ooh, gotcha! There we go. We'll get the red gem. A red gem that belongs to the water elemental. Well then let's return it to him. That wasn't too bad. That was a little bit of a puzzle to figure out. Lots of puzzles we've been having to explore recently. It's fun, but it's also interesting. A little bit different than we're used to. I mean, I guess we're technically always used to doing puzzles because that's the entire game's battle system, but you know what I mean, it's, it's a different kind of puzzle. Oh, it looks sad. Maybe a little present will help cheer it up. Yep, here we go. And there we go, awesome. Was there another one of those on the right, I wonder? I don't think so. Whoa, that's gonna fill the whole thing up with water. And that closes the staircase with the Earth Elemental. So they're all working together. Hooray, the Earth Elemental's back, Elemental's uh, face is back together. Just look at the that happy smile. So no, there was not one on the side. So I think we're good to move forward. Once again, no toads to find around here, so don't have to worry about that. Definitely take some extra health, but I really need extra confetti. Whoa, look at us climbing this tower more and more. Keep following that purple streamer all the way up. Will do. Don't have to tell me twice, even though you did. Getting some extra coins, oh, ready? Boop, God, I don't wanna fall. I wonder what happens if you fall from the back. I'm actually really curious now. Oh, there is toads up here. Whoa, why are these toads stuck to the side of this tower? I don't see anything holding them against the wall. How are they staying up? Hmm, on a closer look, those toads seem to be strapped to the wall with some kind of tape? Poor toads, they're stuck in such flattering position, unflattering positions, I'd be so embarrassed. Oh no, so I guess we're going against maybe some kind of tape dispenser soon. Um. Yeah, there's no toads to rescue here. A little bit weird. I don't know, I'm sort of curious to see what happens if you fall off. Okay, you just lose a bunch of health. Well, that's not good. Will that come back? Okay, well, you're stuck here forever now, Mario. All right, well, whenever you're ready. Okay, there we go. So what's going on in here then? Whoa, lots of enemies. Whoa, it started, it's, it's, it's a staring contest between the fire and ice elementals. Wonder who's gonna win. I'd bet my coins on the ice elemental. Its fangs are so intimidating. Do I have enough confetti to get across this? Just barely, it seems. Hopefully we can get some more defeating these enemies. But we have both fire and ice enemies. But now is a great time to save before we deal with anything more. Another hole filled up. There's a lot of holes in this area. Speaking of which, there's even more down this way. Ow! Oh, okay. Good to note, though. There's some stuff down that way. I don't quite know how to get to it for now, though. Maybe there's some other way. Uh, I'm also guessing we can't just break our way in, but I can hit you with a hammer or not. All right, gonna go against both the fire and the ice bros. And some normal hammer bros as well. Hmm. I think, there we go. There we go, not too bad, hey! I like it. So do we still have that fire hammer? We do, so we can use that against these guys. We do also have an ice hammer to use against the other guys, so we should be able to get a good balance. All right, gear, where is the ice hammer? Right there, put that over the fire hammer now. You guys are in trouble. I don't know if this is even necessary exactly, but it's at least fun to match it up like this. Oh, those are actually boomerang bros. 
Well, I'd like to take him out before we have to deal with him. And that's exactly what's happening. Oh, a lot more that are coming in. How are we dealing with this one? Like this? No. This is tricky. Um, ah. Can I get like a couple hundred coins in there just so that they can make the first move for me? Why there? Oh, I see, I'm so silly. I'm so silly, this makes so much sense. I just don't figure it out. Um, there. See, it's not that hard. I'm just not good at the game. Let's go ahead and do flashy boots. I think that'll be enough to take him down, but I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, 35 damage each on them. Plenty enough. So we'll do that there, and then we'll also do it against the other group. And we should get a perfect battle here done. I love how many toads are in the crowd now. Not all of them, but most of the bleachers are filled. And your flashy boots bro. That's okay, we can get more. But there's our battle bonus. 1,700 coins in that one. Very nice. Okay, so we got a lot of confetti filled up there too, so I can do a little bit of that. Over this way we have lots of extra coins in there. And I do see this little hidden staircase. It's me, question block. Uh, oh, I see, up there, if we can let that drop. Oh, I, I got you. No! Ah! <laughs> Couldn't get the other ones out. Oh, so they did get the first strike there too. Not good. How do we want to do this one? Oh, I see. This one's actually not too bad. Move this guy forward. And get that done. So hopefully jumping on them will be enough. Maybe I'll do flashy iron boots. I don't know how, how tough the, the buzzy beetles even are. Not tough enough to handle 39 damage. That's for sure. And then a flashy hammer should certainly be enough, right? Gotcha. Okay, well, we don't get too much of a reward for that. That's sort of a shame, but it is what it is. Oh, that's a lot more confetti, which honestly, the confetti with how many holes there are to fill in this area might be the most worth it thing. So we can go down this way. I don't know if I can quite make that jump, but I know I can go this way and get some other stuff. Whoa, you were not there before, were you? Oh, I can't do that. Definitely. Give a couple throws towards that one. And I could either, is this a reset room? I think it is, ooh, plenty more confetti. Well, a little bit more. And that was just a lot of coins. We're almost at 20,000. Don't know if we've gotten 20,000 coins before. Maybe. Um, gotcha, gotcha. No, but they got me. Yeah, hard to really do that when we're slipping and sliding on the ice. A lot more sidesteppers here. Oh, okay, this one, once again, is a really easy matchup. You only need one turn. There you go. Perfect lineup, attack power up. So we're just going to use a normal hammer to take them down. I think it'll be enough. As long as I time it, get the 24 damage, enough to take them down. Same thing over this way. Gotcha. Okay, last wave coming up. Sorta of more of the same if we get two moves. The answer is quite easy. Just do that and this. I will need iron boots for them. Almost wanna try a hurl hammer a little bit more. What other gear can we try? If we just have normal shiny iron boots, we probably wanna use those up if we have a chance. There we go. Let's get to it. Because obviously jumping on them normally, probably not the best idea. And we'll use the hammer, just like that. Gotcha. That was actually a lot more coins because there was just a lot more enemies there. And a ton of confetti, thank you very much. This might fill up our bag all the way. And if I could just hit you with the hammer. Gotcha. A little bit more confetti, go back this way. 
Oh, no, my coins. My coins, yeah, I got them. So I might wanna break these just for the sake of finding everything that's within them. Aha, especially for potential secrets like that. Always worth doing. And then we'll try to solve the puzzle. Not too worried about it for right now, because it'll get solved when it needs to. Okay, so it seems like jumping is almost a nice way to sort of speed our way across. Hmm. Just trying to destroy all these. Aha, there's another one. Was waiting for it. Oh, and a fire flower and another one. They are everywhere. See, we, we did surpass 21,000 coins now, very cool. I think our confetti bag is full, which is fine because we still have a couple more holes to fill up. But yeah, I really can only imagine we're getting closer and closer to the end of the game. I, I don't know how much more is left because if this is the final one, the, uh, whoa, can't get up there. Um, what is it called? The fire, final, uh, oh my gosh, what is it called? The, uh, the, the streamer. Can I use this to get up here? No. Okay, well then now's a good opportunity to just reset. I'll grab these extra coins. And we should just be able to go in this room, reset the whole thing, boop, and try again. So like, what exactly are we trying to get done is the question. Because if I could just get up there, oh, you know what, I see now, I see. Yeah, I'd imagine that wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. It is a little weird, but I think that if we were to actually do this and then get ourselves over here, that would work or not. Darn, uh, it might not work actually, looking at it. If I can sort of cheat it and hit the corner like I have in the past, I don't know if it'll let me do that. But I could smack that like that, then smack this over, and then if it lets me just, yeah, hit the corner like that. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to do it like that. I don't think so, but it works. I'm not complaining. And then the rest of it should be quite easy because of that. Certainly a more difficult answer could have been done if you can't hit the corners like that, but if we can, once again, I'm not gonna make a problem about it. So what's this way then? Whoa. All sorts of flames and fire. Of course, we just dealt with all the ice, so gotta deal with the opposite. Oh, okay, some kind of pattern we have to follow. Can I see that one again? <laughs> um. Ah! Well, I didn't even get the chance to be wrong there. That's like a really complicated Simon Says. Is it the same every time? The hard part is the backtracking. Because I think it's, that's the part I'm getting confused on. So try it again, start from the, no, oh, okay, now it's actually telling me the correct direction again. I don't know why that's so tough for me to remember. Uh, but we go like this, and then we, yeah, we go across like this, okay. It made it easier for me. I was hoping it would give me one last chance before I did that. But it is what it is. There's all of the question blocks hit for Sea Tower though, awesome. Wonder how much farther we are away from getting all of the not so bottomless holes filled up. So now we're on this side, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So that we can use the thousand fold arms, pull on what looks like a rubber band, some kind of like, I guess a tie. Boom, presses the button. Melts the ice bell metal's teeth. He has a cool little mustache too, I didn't notice that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the ice bell metal was grinning, but it couldn't bear it. The fire bell metal wins this one. Indeed they do. So we're gonna slide right back down. 
And I guess we're just good to move forward. I don't see anything else we could do. Definitely worth it to save. So another complicated puzzle soft. Has a little bit more confetti for us. Same thing with this one. Okay, let's keep going. Ah, oh, plenty more toads all taped up around here. The poor guys. Hey, watch it. Oh, I got you first, just barely. I hit my hammer on you before you hit your hammer on me. All right. Oh, plenty of guys coming in. So once again, It's just like the other one that we got stuck on. Glad that I learned that trick. I like it. So, let's start with these guys. Um, if we use, hopefully the flash iron boots, that'll be enough. Maybe I'll use the hurl hammer for the other guys. I'm trying to stretch out all my items, make sure that they're all lasting as long as they need to. So, shiny hurl hammer it is. It was a great, but that's 46 damage each. More than enough. All right, almost 900 coins there. We're really climbing now. I almost missed this. I don't know how I did not notice this. I guess I was just so focused on dodging the hammer row, but there we go. All the knob animals holes repaired as well. So we really made some good progress or we did not find really any of the collectible treasures. So I might just go ahead and put that accessory on. I might as well. No more question blocks will be hit, find, found hidden around here. We found them all already. Oh, oh no, not this guy again. Now we get the chance to see his name now. Boom, nine damage to him. And all of his friends are coming in. Oh, there's more than one of them. Isn't that splendid? So, line them up. Oh, there's, oh. Hmm. How exactly are we doing this? Because it seems like no matter what, there's gonna be an odd one out, right? Well, not entirely. Oh, you know what? What if I did this? Then I did this. Aha, maybe I am getting better at this. Look at me. All right, so the boomerang bro, the hammer bro, and the sledge bro. So we'll start with, honestly, that shiny hurl hammer does some good damage. I mean, we'll just keep with that. That was an excellent throw. It does 48 damage each, enough to get rid of all of them. So yeah, we're just gonna keep with that for as long as it lets me. Because these are some tough enemies and if we don't have to be stacked against them, that'd be great. This might be the last throw for it though. I'm so sorry, shiny hurl hammer, you were so great. Oh no, is 46 enough? It is, okay. What a relief, only a thousand coins for that one. I feel like we did really good. I was hoping for a little bit more, but it is what it is. We do get a mushroom out of that. And we're still going up. This tower never ends. We're actually at full health right now, but I'll take it and I'll heal about, and I'll save. Does that mean we're reaching the top soon? Whoa, there it is, the final streamer. Hey, we reached the top. Wow, look at how high up we are. And look what else is up here. We finally found the end of the purple streamer. But how are we supposed to get up there and smash the spool? Hmm. Aha, there's some stuff blocking it off, but maybe if we use all of the powers of the Velmentals, we can get somewhere with this. Odd, because they're all blocked off now. Should we just jump in? Hey, I'm elevating here. Oh no. What is going on with this guy? The shifty sticker tape. You Mario, I got a message for you from the boss. How about you come over here so I can give it to you? And you origami kid, be a good goyle and run back to Ollie. It's past your betty time, capiche? You two were gonna try and take the dis, take this stream out of the picture, eh? I came into strips too, you know. You got a grudge with things that wrap over things? You don't think I'm some kind of joke, huh? 
Guess we know who stuck those toads to the tower now. Sheesh, how did all those harmless origami making tools end up with such tacky personalities? <laughs> Tell me about it. Hey, I'm not tacky, I'm sticky. That's it, you want a piece of me? Well, you're gonna get it. All right, well, <laughs> let's try going against the tape. Oh my goodness, so another boss fight here, two episodes in a row. And maybe the last of our household object battles. <laughs> I get a feeling this is gonna be a fun one. Come on, you two, throw your best attacks at me. We'll see what sticks. All right, well, I'll try. We definitely want some more info about this boss, and I'm hoping it'll be easier than the ice found until, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, if we could set up the treasure chest, that'd be fantastic. Okay, well, not perfect, but it is what it is. Hit the tape dispenser with your hammer to break it. All right. Oh, and we got some extra moves. Hey, why are there so many panels hiding in that chest? Hey, don't go messing up my hard work. You gotta tidy up, you know? Can't leave no evidence. All right, well, I'm trying my best with his voice. Oh no, oh no. Ah! Block Mario! Oh, I don't think I blocked that correctly. Okay, use the arrows, I know. <laughs> I'm trying. So if we do that, and we do this, and then lastly, do that, we should be good. I think, yep, so we'll get some, wait, no, I did it wrong by one piece. Oh no, we're fine, we're fine. Phew, what? No, I thought you would just keep walking. Oh, I'm such a such a dingus right now. Ow, okay, well this is not a good start and I don't have a one-up anymore, so I do have to be careful about that. All right, well. Is that correct? As far as I can tell, yes. I might as well also use the on switch. So let's see. Oh no, no, hold on, hold on. Let's not be silly. That bring me down, down, left. Oh, no, 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 no. I got this whole, th no, 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 this is right. I go left, down, right. Oh, I mean, sort of left. Uh, message, heart, times two, down, on switch, hit him, okay. Because the on switch persists. Thank you. Hit the tape dispenser with your hammer to break. Okay, I thought that would say something new, but no. I'm not that forgetful. So that'll be on for later. Let's use our best hammer, then our flashy hammer. I think this is our best hammer. I guess we'll find out. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's really broken. Wait, what about my second turn? Oh no, it's double damage, not double turn. I forgot. This thing is really busted up. So maybe now, should we try again? I don't exactly know what we're supposed to do here, but I could try this. Okay, you know what? Hey, I'm gonna run into the, I don't know then. Huh. Yeah, this is certainly tricky. Trying to find the best way to do this, I'm thinking about it. Um, maybe I should just move down, get the treasure chest, and then hit him again. I, I just think that maybe I can hit him again and break it up more. Let's find out. Flashy hammer, here we go. Yeah, okay, we can. Enemies turn again, you're gonna slam on me. But honestly, I can handle it. I did not block it, but it didn't do much damage. It seems pretty busted to me at this point. I don't know if we can break it any more than that. It's where it gets so weird, right? Um, but I could try for it one more time, or we could go for this. 
Okay, I don't know if that'll do double damage with the thousand fold arms. We're gonna find out. Hit the tape dispenser on all sides to smash the whole thing. So no, I'm not supposed to do this yet. All right, thousand fold arms. I don't know what this will do, if it'll really do anything. Grip, hit. Okay, well it's hurting it a little bit. It's smashing it up pretty good, wow! Wait, what? We didn't win, right? <laughs> Whoa, okay, now it's just a tape. What, we didn't finish it off? You got some noive busting up my precious tail and made dispenser like that. It was worth a fortune, not to mention the sentimental value. If that's how you want it, it might, might as well dispense. I might as well dispense with the pleasantries. Time to de seal the deal. <laughs> oh boy. What? Oh no! It's the little thing that cuts the tape that I always hurt myself on because I'm very clumsy. <laughs> See what you made me do? You got me breaking out the doity tricks. All right, let's wrap this up, eh? <laughs> Whoa, this thing is out of control. It's a no good cheating gangster. Hey, I'm attacking over here. Hey, look at me, I'm on a roll. Oh my, oh my. Oh, he's <laughs> spinning up like the Kirby wheel ability. <laughs> oh, now everything's stuck. He's taping it all together. Now that's what I call a stick up. <laughs> it's taped up those panels. That's, hmm, that's not very intimidating. Well, it might be. I would still like some advice on what to do here from the game, so that actually isn't too bad of a deal right there. I can't, ah, oh, darn. The on switch is here. So if I go here, I'm gonna be going down, over. Is that correct? No, that's not what I want. Darn, Um. well, it could be what I want. If I'm just able to, but then that messes up the other one. Why is there always gotta be something? Oh, that's stinky. Um. Hmm. There's just no way I can get him to hit the on switch while getting everything else here. I'll try this then. You know, like whatever. No, wait, what did I do? What did I do? Oh gosh. Yeah, just get this back like this. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm sorry, but I just, I need to know what to do next from the, the little letter. The strips of tape stuck to the ground are vulnerable to fire. Well, there we go, now we know. Um, I don't really know too much about what we can do here. We could use an item. Why don't we use a shiny fire flower for fun? All right, now we can time these. And it goes right through them. Well, that was a waste of a shiny fire flower. The attack missed. Oh no. Uh, oh, that's bad. What is he gonna do? Whoa, ow, ow, ow! I don't like that. Oh, he's zooming through again. So we need to get the fire elemental out here to do some moves with that. Easier said than done with how he's taping all this up. I don't know if it's even gonna be possible at this point to hit everything at the same time. But, I can do that so I can hit that. Ah, oh, darn. Yeah, that moves everything together. Oh, oh, is that gonna be enough though? If I put that there. Oh, that's almost it. But this one thing is in the way the whole time. Oh, but it'll, no, it still won't work, but 
It's the closest I can possibly get. Everything's too stuck together. So I just have to sort of segment it off. If this one green arrow wasn't in the way, it would be fine. Maybe this can give me a couple other panels. None in the way that I'm going, but it is what it is. Um, but next turn, I'll be able to actually do something about the fire elemental stuff. That'll help a lot. Oh my. Oh, he really knows how to hurt. Okay, he's rolling out again. I don't know if he actually taped anything. Okay, now he's taping stuff. We're about to burn it all up though. So. How do we want to get over to the fire elemental? Good question. Um. Is there even like a possible way right now? I don't know. Like I feel like we're stuck for just permanently. Um Ah, oh, darn. I just, well actually, if I, why is this gotta be so tough? Yeah, I need this here. So Mario can go down to the right. Is there one that'll push him from there? Downwards. I mean, he would go all the way around and then go down to the right, or I'm running out of time here. Okay, well, I can just do this. I'm being super silly. That should be good, right? I hope <laughs> we're gonna find out. There it is. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm not the best at puzzles, but I'm doing what I can. All right, Olivia, help me out with this one. Oh, say goodbye to those little tapes everywhere. There we go, very nice. And 20 damage, which isn't a ton. Of course, we can just burn that sticky tape away. Nice work, Mario. Oh no, but now it's their turn and they're not happy about it. Oh, here we go again. So he's just gonna wrap more up. I don't know what we're supposed to, that lowers his health though. Ah, oh, so all the tape he uses lowers his health more and more. So really it's just getting back to it. Can I move this down? Ah, oh, I would love to have been able to do that there. I think it's more important to get this so that we can actually get the fire elemental moves right now. And then I can even get a free thing out of it. Um, no, 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 no. Get that back there. I can even get a free thousand arm folded move out of it. I don't know if that's really gonna do much here. Use a thousand folded arms to grab the tape by its end and yank it all out. So maybe this is what I need to do then. Also, I messed it up, so I'm not even gonna get the treasure chest. But I mean, yeah, that's what, the, well, actually, that was the goal. Um, I forgot. <laughs> I couldn't have. Um, so let's grab it, and then go for it. Lift, whoa! Now what? Oh my gosh. Uh, Mari, now's the time, pull that tape. Pull, 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 pull. Whoa, <laughs> nice! That was great! Oh no. Uh, down to 93 health. That's not good. Taping more stuff up. Let's see if I couldn't just do another thousand fold arms though. If I can, we can get him really low. Even lower than he is. He's running out of his roll here. Okay, this time I need the treasure chest though. That's the big issue. Is there anything that'll bring me down that won't also get in my way like that? It doesn't look like it. Um. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. So this isn't too much, but I think I'm going to leave it like this. I know it's gonna tell me to use the thousand fold arms again. I don't even have the option to at the moment, which is why I need, oh, well, actually I did run into that too. So I don't know if that's gonna work in the order that I want it to, but it looks like it might. Okay, get 30 health out of that. I just need to hit him one more time with everything I think. I blocked it. Oh, not too bad. I don't think he did as much damage as I got back from health. He's gonna use more of his health to lay tape around. And now he can use the thousand fold arms one more time. Whoa, what is that? What is that? Okay. He's using the, I don't know. I thought he was using an arrow there. I thought that's what I was gonna say. So this is where things get complicated. I just wanna get there. So what do I gotta do to do that? I can move this out without moving a bunch of other stuff. Everything is so stuck together right now that I might have to use the fire of elemental first just to clear out the tape. I don't know, that's gonna be just as tough to reach that. Because my options are moving around. I can move this way and do this one, but that's the same exact thing as doing this. I can do this one, but it'll immediately move me into a Thing. And there's really basically no places to move vertically. So my options here are basically this or nothing. So that would give me the times two and then I would be attacking again. Which is not what I want, but like I said, I have no choice. There's no other way to possibly match it up right now. No. So you just sort of have to rinse and repeat until you get lucky. That's what I'm looking at right now. All right, let's give it a go then. There's that at the least. Um, and I will use the flashy iron boots on him. It's not gonna do much, if anything, but I don't know if I have too much of another choice. Yeah, it doesn't do any damage. Okay, here we go. I just need to get either the fireball mental or the thousand fold arms. We are getting lower on health here. Maybe I should've just taken that situation, that opportunity to heal. Okay, this is looking a whole lot more accomplishable. Maybe. There's always this dude in the way. That's driving me nuts. Okay, here we go. This'll clear out. Actually, no, just do this son. There we go, okay. I hope I'm doing this right and I didn't just make a really silly mistake. We're gonna find out. And a thousand fold arms, I'm trying. Oh, come on, come on. Here's our turn again. You're in trouble, buddy. I hope you know. So we did a lot of damage to you with this last time. I hope it's enough to take you down. Lift. Oop, give you a little spin -a Okay, pull. And there we go, we got him. <laughs> well, that was really tough. Battle bonus, we get ourselves 4,300 coins. So the tape has been defeated. Ah, it hoits, it hoits. Don't do this to me, I'm a chance adhesive. I won't stick nobody up no more, I swear. Boss, Ollie, you gotta do something. You gotta avenge me, I'm, I'm, ah, forget about it. <laughs> he might be my favorite boss so far, though, just for his personality alone. <laughs> there we go, we defeated him. Oh my goodness. And all the toads are free, yay! So I guess I'll just lightly float to the bottom. But now, oh, we get another thousand fold arm so that we can break open this final streamer. All right, we can reach the streamer now, Mario. You know what to do. Okay, let's give it a try. Grip and hit. There we go. So f for the fourth and a presumably final time, right? Oh, the purple streamer has been busted. 
Oh no, there's a green one. How did I forget about the green one? <laughs> so there is still one more to get. That's okay. So we'll go to that one, of course, probably starting next episode. Congratulations, purple streamer cleared. Yeah. I'm happy about that. Whoa. Max confetti increased. It's all the typical stuff. Happy about it. Hooray, now there's just one streamer left. I don't think we've seen, uh, even seen the last one yet, have we? It could be anywhere. It's right there. <laughs> Do we even know what color it is? We took the, down the red one, then the blue one, then. Huh? Has that green streamer been there the whole time? I don't believe it has. It goes up and up and up. Gosh, it's going up above the clouds. How in the world are we supposed to follow that? I can't float up that high, and it looks way too high to even jump, even for you, Mario. Maybe there's some kind of hint up here. Wishful thinking, but you never know. Well, what are we standing on? Let's check. Let your fold, let, let four fold into one and point you toward paradise. So I think we know what to do here. We need to unfreeze each of these. Use our elemental powers here. Which elemental power should we use? Obviously for this one, we should use fire, so we can melt it. And I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Like I've said, we've seen these before. So I just don't wanna drag on more than I have to. There we go. So we're gonna skip that as well. I don't know if we should've. It is what it is. It just melts the ice, as you can see. And we can press the button. Whoa. So let's do that for the other three as well. Because we couldn't reach these before the streamer was blocking them off. So what's going on with this one? It's a whole bunch of lava surrounding, I think, the earth element. Or no, the water elemental. So we are going to use, for this one, I think the ice. I think that makes more sense to me. Uh, we'll try it. So we'll skip that, but maybe I won't skip this cutscene because this is sort of unique. Ooh, freeze it up. Oh, that doesn't work. Weird. All right, we'll use water then. <laughs> See, I guess we just use whatever Velmental correlates with the actual statue. So this is not really too much of a puzzle solving thing here as much as a, a match em up kind of thing. Okay, use the water, spray that everywhere. You know the deal. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and hit that button. We're gonna do that two more times right over here. So we have the ice one over there. So this one is gonna be the earth one. And as you can see, it's just raised up, so. Pretty simple stuff. Which elemental should we use? Earth elemental. But that definitely confirms to me that we've gotten all the elemental abilities. It's only gonna be these four. But still, very cool that we got that done. And this is gonna lower. And we're good. But now for real, we're heading towards the last streamer. <laughs> I thought I was this whole time because I had just forgotten that there was five instead of four. But now I know. I love this area too. Just like a very cool color scheme, like blue, white, and yellow. We're so high up in the sky and we're going even higher apparently. Which elemental's power should we use? Apparently the water elemental. That doesn't seem, no, this is ice. I'm, I'm so silly. <laughs> Why am I so silly all the time? All right, so that's all frozen. Now we can get across. Boop, gotcha. And so with all four of them combined, ice, earth, water, and fire, what in the world is going on? Whoa! Now that looks cool. That light, it's going pew right up to the clouds. Right through the clouds. The, the, the light, the light is calling to us. I suppose it is. And I guess we'll call ourselves into it. 
<laughs> in the next episode of Paper Mario, the Origami King. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.